If you want to know what a man's like, take a good look at how he treats his inferiors, not his equals. It is our choices, Harry, that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities. It does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. It takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies, but just as much to stand up to our friends. Of course it is happening inside your head, Harry, but why on earth should that mean that it is not real? It is impossible to live without failing at something, unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case you fail by default. To the well-organized mind, death is but the next great adventure. It matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be. Do not pity the dead, Harry. Pity the living and, above all those who live without love. Dumbledore watched her fly away, and as her silvery glow faded he turned back to Snape, and his eyes were full of tears. After all this time? Always, said Snape. The truth. Dumbledore sighed. It is a beautiful and terrible thing and should therefore be treated with great caution. Remember, if the time should come when you have to make a choice between what is right and what is easy, remember what happened to a boy who was good and kind and brave, because he strayed across the path of Lord Voldemort. Remember Cedric Diggory. Do you remember me telling you we are practicing non-verbal spells, Potter? Yes, said Harry stiffly. Yes, sir. There's no need to call me Sir Professor. The words had escaped him before he knew what he was saying. Numbing the pain for a while will make it worse when you finally feel it. Just because you have the emotional range of a teaspoon doesn't mean we all have. We're all human, aren't we? Every human life is worth the same and worth saving. Wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure. Indifference and neglect often do much more damage than outright dislike. We are only as strong as we are united, as weak as we are divided. Is it true that you shouted at Professor Umbridge? Yes. You called her a liar? Yes. You told her he who must not be named is back? Yes. Have a biscuit, Potter. Mr. Mooney presents his compliments to Professor Snape and begs him to keep his abnormally large nose out of other people's business. Mr. 
Prawns agrees with Mr. Mooney and would like to add that Professor Snape is an ugly git. Mr. Padfoot would like to register his astonishment that an idiot like that ever became a professor. Mr. Wormtail bids Professor Snape good day and advises him to wash his hair, the slime ball. He can run faster than Severus Snape, confronted with shampoo. Death's got an invisibility cloak? Harry interrupted again. So he can sneak up on people, said Ron. Sometimes he gets bored of running at them, flapping his arms and shrieking. You're a prefect? Oh, Ronnie. That's everyone in the family. What are Fred and I? Next door neighbors? I don't care. Harry yelled at them, snatching up a lunoscope and throwing it into the fireplace. I've had enough, I've seen enough, I want out, I want it to end, I don't care anymore. You do care, said Dumbledore. He had not flinched or made a single move to stop Harry demolishing his office. His expression was calm, almost detached. You care so much you feel as though you will bleed to death with the pain of it. Not my daughter, you bitch. Percy wouldn't notice a joke if it danced naked in front of him wearing one of Dobby's hats. Books are like mirrors, if a fool looks in, you cannot expect a genius to look out. You haven't got a letter on yours, George observed. I suppose she thinks you don't forget your name. But we're not stupid we know we're called Gred and Forge. Don't talk to me. Why not? Because I want to fix that in my memory forever. Draco Malfoy, the amazing bouncing ferret. You know, Minister, I disagree with Dumbledore on many counts, but you cannot deny he's got style. He must have known I'd want to leave you. No, he must have known you would always want to come back. Let us step into the night and pursue that flighty temptress adventure. We do not need magic to transform our world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. Fear of a name increases fear of the thing itself. Why are they all staring? Demanded Albus as he and Rose craned around to look at the other students. Don't let it worry you, said Ron. It's me. I'm extremely famous. Dumbledore says people find it far easier to forgive others for being wrong than being right. You'll stay with me? Until the very end, said James. Cinderella? 
Snow White? What's that? An illness?